don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button. Trust us, it'll be worth it. Thank you. What is up everyone? I am Chris Knight and you are watching The Real Review 3000 here with another trailer reaction. And this one will be on Loki. Now I know we've been doing a lot of trailer reactions lately, but this one in particular we wanted to do because when it starts on June 11th, that Sunday afterwards on June 13th, we will be doing the round table for this show on The Real Review 3000 and over on Chaos Central also. And we've been doing this now with the Chaos Central team. Anzo did the WandaVision one on his channel. And right now, Danny Comic Chat is doing the Falcon and Winter Soldier roundtable on his channel. But I'll be doing it here starting on June 13th. So that's why we wanted to do this one. Now, Loki is a Disney Plus series starting on June 11th of this year, like I mentioned. It'll run for six episodes, and it's considered part of the MCU's fourth phase. Now, it stars Tom Hiddleston as Loki, Owen Wilson as Mobius, M. Mobius, Gu uh, Juju Mabatha uh, Ra as Ravana Lexus Rinslayer, and then Wunmi Masaku, I'm trying to get these right, as Hunter B-15. Now, according to Wikipedia, the premise is this. After stealing the Tesseract during the events of Avengers Endgame, Loki is brought to the mysterious Time Variance Authority, the TVA, organization and their timekeepers and is forced to fix several timelines he broke while traveling through time altering human history with the tesseract ending up trapped in his own crime thriller now this show looks really fun it's a little different than the other ones and tom hiddleston really does a good job with loki so i'm hoping there's a lot of fun and not Stupid comedy, just his type of comedy that he does with Loki. Um, I like the that that they're kind of bringing the time stuff into play here, and they're trying to fix it. So I don't know how much that's going to fix the in game stuff. Um, we're going to find that out. I was kind of iffy with the time stuff in in game, so I'm going to give this a chance because there sounds like they're trying to fix it. So. With that all said, I've also heard there's a really interesting little cameo part in here near the end of this trailer where perhaps Loki and Black Widow are sitting in this landscape together. So I'm going to look for that. Maybe you guys can too. But like I said, I'm really looking forward to this. I like Tom Hiddleston as Loki and much like Scarlett Johansson with Black Widow. I don't think that they got enough out of these people with these parts. So I'm really glad to see they're coming back using Tom Hiddleston as Loki, and hopefully this will make it so maybe he'll be back to the MCU, maybe. But um, you know how this goes. We're going to go ahead and get our headphones on, and let's do this. Three, two, one, reaction. Hmm. I like the music, that whole sci-fi sound. Timekeepers have built quite the circus. And I see the clowns are playing their parts to perfection. Ooh. <laughs> Big metaphor guy. I love it. Makes you sound super smart. I am smart. I know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Please sign to verify this is everything you've ever said. This is absurd. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be in big trouble. I'd too. be in real big trouble if they did that. If there's something I have to sign with everything I've ever said. We protect the proper flow of time. You picked up the Tesseract breaking reality. Mm -hmm. I want you to help us fix it. Ah, let's see what they're going with. Why me? I need your unique Loki perspective. <laughs> Do I get a weapon? Nah. He always asks that. Interesting. You really believe in this Loki variant? Ooh. Luckily, he believes in himself enough for the both of us. Interesting. It is adorable that you hmm. think you could possibly manipulate me. I'm ten steps ahead of you. 
Very interesting. You're not big on trust, are you? The DB Cooper me. scene. Interesting trust again. Almost every moment of your entire life, you've literally stabbed people in the back like 50 times. <laughs> Why never do it again? <laughs> Maybe. Right there. I, right there. I saw it. Oh, wow. Check that out, guys. That is crazy. Right there. I saw that same, like, lake or whatever several times um, throughout that. But they're right there near the end. Yeah, it looks like Black Widow. Interesting, guys. Um, if you saw that, check it out. Go back and watch that trailer yourself and see if you see that. But you also, if you watch the whole thing, you'll see that that's a constant theme, that, that location with the two rocks that they're sitting on there at the end. There's several different times you see Loki there where they have the door open behind him and there's the two uh, rocks there, but it shows up several times in this trailer. So I'm not sure if that's like a waypoint or a like, um, I don't want to go with... Uh, Oh, I don't know. Waypoint, um, just to like a limbo in a sense, I guess. Just some place that is where you go when that's just, it's got to put you someplace. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but let me know what you think. Let me know if you saw that Black Widow part right there. That's interesting. If she comes into this, again, that's, that's putting a lot of interesting ideas in my head. I'm not sure what to think about it. Again, I'm interested to see what they do with the show. I, I, I'm still kind of... I'm split on the idea of all these TV shows because they just seem like they keep adding things into it and then at the end they're like, oh, wait, we forgot to wrap all this up. So, you know, would it be good? Yes. Will it be good? Most likely. But will it wrap everything up? Will it make everything seem tied together and neat? I doubt it. Because even Falcon the Winter Soldier right now is kind of leaving plot points just behind and deciding, oh, we're just gonna, that's done. And I'm not sure. You got to wrap some of this stuff up. We'll see. Um, so far, I do like what they've been doing with the TV series. So I'm not horribly going to hate on any of them. Uh, but let me know what you guys think down in those comment areas down below. Put all that down there. Let me know if you're going to watch this. Let me know if you're even interested in this. Let me know if you have the same theory that a lot of people have that these should have just been movies. Because I think that might have worked better too. But let me know. And thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for how you can become a member. Our social media links. All that fun stuff. Thank you again for watching. I am Chris Knight. This has been The Real Review 3000. I'm officially out of here. Please remember to like subscribe and never forget to ring that bell follow chris knight and the real review 3000 on these platforms for email and patreon see the description box below to reach the ego use the twitter handle at the ego 5150 we'd like to thank the generous members of the real review 3000 those members are jesse ritchie jj aka sathor 3827 Lady Tariel, Anzo of Bigger Ford Entertainment, and Yvette. Thank you for your support and donations that help us at The Real Review 3000 bring you, the viewer, better content. For more information on how to become a member, click the join button below.